Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, of one of my uh, project. Um, so basically what you see here, you might get an idea of what I'm about to do. So I recently replaced uh, all of the rotors on two of my car, well, one car and one truck. Uh, they're slightly different in size. So I'm left with these rotors, old one, I don't know what to do with it. So I came up with the idea, uh, a few months back I was looking to buy some barbell and, uh, or dumbbell uh, to put in some exercise again, but uh, they, you know, they end up they're pretty costly. They're about maybe a dollar to dollar and twenty-five per pound. So, if you want like you know, a thirty pound or twenty pound dumbbell, you have to pay like forty, fifty dollars for it. So now I got the idea. I have all of the machine, but well, I have all of the parts, um, and then I have um, a welding machine. Um, I have my lathe. Uh, I have my milling machine. Uh, I have my grinders, so I have pretty much everything, and then I'm left over with a bunch of these um, round pipes or round tubing, steel round tubing that I have for my last project. If you watch my last um, simulator, uh, racing simulator video, so I'm left over with a bunch of stuff that I don't know what to do with it. So I'm just going to combine everything and then uh, make some good use out of it. So basically, all you see here is I took the time to pre made everything. Just so that you know it's not going to be a long video so basically i make two these are going to be for my dumbbell it's going to be the handle for my dumbbell and then i found these handles uh, for my previous leftover project as well so these handle um they're kind of you know rubbery rubberized handles and then i my plan is to insert this that goes in there right and then well let's see let's go in there right in the middle and then I'm gonna weld these. So these are a threaded rod. They're half an inch uh, thread rod I got from Home Depot. Um, so that's the only thing that I've spent on so far, are these nuts and these uh, threaded rods. So that's about like 10 bucks. So I'm gonna put this in here, leave it extended about four to five inches, depending on how many rotors you're planning it to put on. And you know, so you can make it longer or shorter is up to you. But I think I'm just gonna put on two or three on the side max. I'm just gonna weld all of this. I'm just gonna weld this whole, uh, you know, around this part, fix that rod in there. And then what happened is I will, just you see the rotor right here. I am going to weld these round tubes, which is the same size, which is the same size as this tube, but it will go over this uh, threaded rod like that. So I'm going to attempt to weld that right there in the middle to give it a center hub. It's a little bit easier. Put this in the middle, and then one rod there, one on the other side. Doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna have to grind it down a little bit. Have that in there, and then you know this slides in, and then it's gonna hold the weight on each side, basically like that. It's gonna go in there. It's gonna hold it, and then we're just gonna put a nuts on the end of it um, to prevent it from falling out. But you know, if you want to add another one, just stack another one in, remove the mud, and put the nuts back on there. Okay, so here we are. I just finished welding everything. That was kind of a pain. Uh, all of my weld joint look like crap, uh, but that doesn't matter to me. All of this are welded together right here in the back. And all of this threaded rod is welded as well. And this is how it's going to look. And then I'm going to scrub it down, sand it a little bit, and then paint it. And we'll see how it looks. I wish I have a sand blaster. So that I can sand blast it real quick, probably make my life a lot easier, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to uh, sand it and paint it and see what's come out of it. Okay, so I give this a quick sand, you know, nothing crazy, just some light sanding. And then now I'm wiping it off with just uh, uh, alcohol, some alcohol. Hopefully that's going to clean all of the grease and dust and stuff like that. And then I'm just going to uh, can spray it. Uh, with some uh, very very bright paint so here's the uh, final products guys look pretty good I like the uh, bright you know 
uh, Lamborghini orange, I guess. Pretty bright, but it looked nice. So I painted the handle black, and I got the, I put the, the little um, rubbery handle on there, and gonna have to probably uh, put a little tape in there because this thing is sliding back and forth. Um, cause it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the, uh, the handle. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cut this. I, I make this too long just in, in case I have to add another one, you know, for the weight. But I think it's gonna be too heavy. So I weighted this whole set. It's perfectly evenly at 40 pounds. So as of right now, two on each side, they are perfectly at exactly 40 pounds. So I think that's gonna be enough for me. I don't think I'll ever need more than that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty skinny. Um, so that would be more than enough. So I'll just cut this right here, shorten it up a little bit. Um, but that should be it. And I will show you how it looks on a barbell. So here's the uh, barbell. And I think with this one, you know, I could probably use uh, two more rotors to make it like 60 pounds or even more 80 pounds or even more than that. But um, probably when I replace my brake rotors on me, my uh, BMW here, 5 Series here, uh, I can probably get a lot more weight because the disc, the rotor disc on my BMW are like almost twice the size of these ones. Really good. It looked cool, so there you go. Thanks for watching.